You're welcome once again to another edition of Mathematics Made Simple, powered by the Nova Learning Support Studio. I want to ask a question. Have you ever had issues sometimes dealing with very uh, large numbers or very small numbers? Now, sometimes as students, it becomes very stressful sometimes to write certain numbers because they are very, very large or sometimes they are very, very small. So the stress in doing these things sometimes pisses us off or puts us off. But in today's class, I have a solution, all right? We are going to be looking at standard form. Precisely, let me welcome you to this lesson. My name is Agada Peter, your mathematics coach. I'll be taking you through a lesson series in standard form and logarithms. Now, it is important I let you know that your attention is of utmost importance. You understand? I will need you to be very, very, very attentive because all I'll be discussing with you through this lesson series are basic fundamentals on how to solve problems involving standard form and logarithms. But our objective in this particular lesson is that at the end of this lesson, you should be able to express numbers in standard form and also carry out operations in standard form. Now, this is like... Um, a bed that is being laid for logarithms to stand on or the foundation for logarithms. So it is very, very important that you understand certain concepts or fundamentals that has to do with what? Standard form. Thereafter, we will launch into the major, major topic, which is what? Logarithms. Okay? Welcome once again to my class. Let's go to my class. I have a chat I want to share with you. Now, standard form is expressing numbers in scientific form to reduce stress and space of uh, writing very large numbers or very small numbers. As it is, standard form is written in the form A multiplied by 10 raised to power N, where A is a number that can be of any, that can be any of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9. And n can be a positive or negative integer. Now, let us look at the first example here, which has to do with expressing a number such as uh, 1,267,000,000. We want to write this in standard form. Now, that is not to say that this is the largest of all numbers, but this is one of those very large numbers that takes a lot of space and might be stressful to deal with. And then we also have another number with it, which is 0 0.00000000156. Now, how do we deal with this kind of number? Our solution will be, now let me just show you something here. I like to write it on the board, so uh, for purpose of clarity, I have 1 billion. 267 uh, million. Okay, now I want to, you see how long this number is. I want to write it in standard form. And like we said, writing numbers in standard form is a scientific uh, way of reducing stress and what? Space. Now, let's see how we do this. Now, to take this, I like to just place a decimal point here. I want to teach you something. Now, you know that the number initially is without a decimal point. Now, I want to place a decimal point here. Now, watch what I'm going to do. I want to return this, this decimal point. I want to take it back and place it in between 1 and 2. I say that again. I want to take this decimal. You know that there is no decimal point here. I was the one that introduced the decimal point for purpose of teaching you how to express numbers in standard form. Now, I would move this number and place it in between 1 and 2. Okay? Now, let's go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Alright? So, I can actually now express this number, the number as 1.267 multiplied by 10. 
raised to the number of places I moved backward to this place. And like I said, if you recall, we moved how many places? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this number in standard form can be expressed as 1.267 multiplied by 10 raised to power raised to the power 9. Now this can be done with any other number. Even if I write 6870000000000000. Alright. Now let's see if you understood what I did with you some couple of uh, seconds ago. Now, if you want to write this number in standard form, how do you write it in standard form? Once again, place the decimal point where? Here, all right? And let's see how you move that decimal point and place it between six and eight. Now, let's go. We're going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 12, 13. So this number can be written in standard form as 6.87 multiplied by 10 raised to the power 13.